Dude, you look like an accident victim from a horror movie. Like, it's almost like I want to scoop into my rib and yeah. pull it out. There's so something here. Doesn't it moving? Yeah. That, that shouldn't be moving like that, should it? Okay, relax. Oh, relax. Mm. Relax. I feel like I might tear. What is it doing? What? Did you see that then? What was that about? Bro, what was that? Good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is, where you're watching this and what time you're watching this. It's a beautiful day at the Shire and we're here today for something that is a little bit tweaky, a little bit fun, a little bit experimental because I shockingly have <laughs> found a new pain which we've not experienced before on this channel and that is to do with the ribba ding dongs A ribba ding dong is a thing that helps you breathe and do all of this without looking like a floppy goose. I seem to have somehow, whether it be because my bed's broken that I was sleeping at the moment and didn't realise and I've probably been sleeping it for about a month like that because, you know, broke my bed like a man. I've ridden motorbikes a lot longer than I should after being off them for a long time. I just hopped on it and rode like 400 miles without doing any kind of stretching or anything. Trained, done, started going back to boxing. All of these things could have caused an irritation or did they cause a dislocation? Rib subluxation is a thing that a lot of people claim will happen, which is where you can dislocate a rib. Now that can come from many things. It can come from a micro movement, it can come from an impact. The thing is, I have previously broken a floating rib somewhere from my years of doing the pugilism. You can literally feel the overhealing of the bone. When that happened, I could still move and do everything because it was a floating rib, but I got a lot of fluid, I got a lot of pain. Now, I've got a pain here, which feels like rib pain and it bloody hurts. I can't lie down or do anything that's slightly twisted for more than 30 seconds before this thing starts going boom, boom, and it feels a lot like when I broke my rib. I tried foam rolling it, I've tried stretching, made it worse, didn't seem to relieve it. I can still move, but in certain positions or pressures, it's like a bugger. So, have I dislocated a rib? Have I done some damage to the cartilage? Can a rib even dislocate? And more importantly, can we pop it back into place? To find out, we're gonna need a professional. Bring in the Ramadama Ding Dong. All you have to do is say the magic words, so. So. And he shall appear. <laughs> Mr. Ram, dislocated ribs and putting them back. Is it a thing? And have I done it? So. <laughs> We have to investigate, basically. So you've never done this before? Huh? No, but we have some sort of research background I can explain to you, but we sort of have to investigate, because this is a f***ing interesting one. Let's bring a little bit more detail. Enter a Ramadama Ding Dong explanation. Right, so <laughs> we have a rib cage, okay? So your spine has a thing called T1 to T12, okay? And then what branches around that is called your rib cage. It houses the thoracic area. So when you do this, that's your rib cage, all right? Could it be a dislocation? We don't know, because we have so many muscles around here, okay, and joints and ligaments and all this connective tissue. So we have to investigate what's going on to try and create a process of elimination regarding Lex's dislocation, or is it just musculoskeletal? Okay, so <laughs> if it is a dislocation, so if I dislocate my arm, all right, I can't move it, I have to pop it back in. Same with the rib cage, it won't do its job properly. So, what does rib cage do? It expands and it contracts. So what I need you first to do is open up the thoracic and tell me you get any pain just doing this. So I can pretend I'm a WWE wrestler coming out for my entrance. Yes, we're looking for pain. Stay here. Now take a big breath in for your chest and breathe out. Any pain? Well, no, nothing jarring there. Okay, brilliant, nice. So your, your rib cage seems like they're doing their job right. The next we want to test out is just the thoracic mobility and movement. So we want to be able to move. We don't want lumbar to twist, we just want the upper body to twist right and left. Yeah. Squeeze your bum as you do this. Okay, glute and engage. Now just twist up. There you go, and twist this way. Okay, is there any issues? No, see, it was the same when I broke my other rib. Okay. So this has only affected me in static motions. Like when I've been sat for a while, like say I've been slightly like this, and it'll suddenly just, Dull go, yeah. and then I'll be like, and then it won't go away. Okay, like, cool. So it sounds like when it's under contraction, okay, it's hurting on. now. Okay, yeah. So, from so it's like from, now starting to ache. Yeah. So from just moving it, so it sounds like from stretching a muscle, we've aggravated it a little bit. But now we're going to progress it further onto the floor. Just so you know, when I literally broke this rib here, and it's like a floating rib, I could still. I was still sparring, I was still doing everything, I could still move, I just couldn't take a knock on it. This is why it's so bizarre. So if I've done something up here, which is where it feels like it is, you, you know, there is still a possibility there's rib damage, even though it looks like you've got full mobility. So it's an interesting one. 
from the window to the floor. Okay, so grab yourself a foam roller if you can, or something that has a little bit of cushion behind it. Find your thoracics, okay? So you've got this big squishy part here where there's no rib cage. You'll find just where you hit the ribs. So all we need to do is stay here, and then you're gonna open up the body like this, like that, okay? And this is gonna apply pressure up in the thoracic while opening it up. And when you're here, just give me a So that just happens as you breathe? Yeah, look. That's like a cheap sit-up. So that I can just yeah, breathe and do sit-ups. And then, for example, so when I get to here, okay, I have to contract these muscles to pull myself up, okay? So we're gonna see if it's your abdominals. So first we take the, the chest test the breathing. Let's open you up. And then what you're gonna do is you just sit up like this, you see if you get any pain, okay? Because that rectus abdominis, which lies over the top here to the sternum, will pull you in like that. And just yeah. flop it up here. Arms up over, breathe. It sucks generally. Okay, so one, so do you see the difference between when I did it and he did it? His thoracic is tight already. Yeah. Okay, so then arms up by your ears if you can. I'm not exaggerating, this is me speaking. I sound like I've been smoking for 40 years. So your neck's tight as well, so bring it back. Yeah. Breathe in. And out. Nice, good. That's fine. Okay, now let's try and sit up. Well, with the, as in pull my abs Sit up, yeah, just sit up. Any pain? No. Okay, good. So it's probably eliminating the rectus abdominis, okay? So it sounds like it could be a deep intercostal muscle. If it is not a rib dislocation. So we don't know which one it's gonna be, so we're gonna, we're gonna palpate it and see what's going on. So if you had a pulled ab or something like that, this would, tell, this would be a positive result. Yeah, if you pulled an ab, aggravated or got a bit of a, you'll, you'll notice from just sitting up, you'll get a bit of a sharp pain. And that's your rectus abdominis pulling you in. So we've done the process of elimination and realistically mobility has had no effect on him, okay? Range of motion has had no effect on the pain. So you tell me what was the only thing that sort of aggravated the pain? After the movements, once we stopped, it started hurting, didn't it? You know, like if you were watching TV and you lie like that, that's, yeah, that bugs me. You sat in the office chair and you just kick off a little bit, yeah, you know, yeah, you're yeah. leaning on one side. Okay. That's starting okay. to build now. And then I move out of it, it just stays okay. painful. And no matter what I press or push, it like, it feels like it alleviates a little bit when I push it, but then I let go and it gets worse. Okay, let's just quickly try a side plank then, because you're saying lateral flexion is aggravating okay. you. Okay, plank. Hold that for 30 seconds for me. Squeeze your ass, push it through. Just hold that and the arm right up in the air. There you go. Like this? No, not right up. I just want to see what happens after. Five, you hold. Four, three, two, one, and then relax. Nice. Still just a dull ache. Yeah. Like it's almost like I want to scoop under my rib and yeah. pull it out. Okay. See? Difficult, isn't it? See, this is what I was doing at home. Nothing was making it fire off for me to d decide what it was, which was exactly the same as when I had that cracked rib. So you see a lot of these tests, there's nothing going on. So the only way now we can sort of see what's going on really is to go into the lab and palpate and actually apply pressure. Pain. It's right. going to be horrendous because you're getting your ribs, if you're ticklish and it's painful, it's not going to be nice. So obviously you can see this is a bit of an irritating situation. Mm. So obviously when something doesn't fire when you move in a certain way, it's more difficult to find a problem, which is why sometimes people, and a lot of people claim, dislocations can occur and this causes a problem because it offsets all of the ribs and then causes this kind of dull pain over time. Mm. So we're gonna go in and see, is it a possible dislocation or is it? A muscle irritation. There ain't nothing left to do but to poke it. Yep. Lex, raise your arm over your head for me, okay? So. Here, look, is his rib cage, as you can find see. Find the broken one. Huh? See if you can find the broken bit. There's a, there's a big nodule on one of the ribs. I think it's there, where I broke it. There yeah, you go, look, that, yeah. that's where okay. it is. So here's his rib cage, okay? Everyone's rib cage will look different, all right? So everyone's anatomy is different. You might have one higher than the other, okay? That's just how the bone is formed. So here, look, is his sternum there. You have the joint here. So then you can come down around his rib. So just relax for me. Relax, there you go. Then it all relax. So all this here, look, is his rib cage here, right? So Lex has broken this side, but you see he's got a bit of issues on this side now, all right? So let's see what's going on. If you move your thumb around, you'll be able to find like, where, they, where there's a divot, and that's where the muscles will lie. But on the bone, you can palpate the bones. So first of all, we'll go from his sternum down. So first, let's find his first rib. So here's one of his first ribs up in here, okay? Pain? Yeah. Okay, so throw me numbers at me now. Nothing. You go a bit lower, any pain? What I'm no. doing here, so here's his ribs. I'm pressing in between these bony areas, okay? Yes, all right. Is there pain? Moving up? The, something there. Yeah, so it's actually closer to your sternum. 
So this here, is any pain around here? Yeah, that's there, right yeah, there. Yeah, it's right that's there, okay? So, so he's that going... is closer to an actual dislocation point if there was going to be one. Yeah, so he's close to... Somewhere like within... Yeah. Yeah, there, 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 that right there. Okay, cool. Right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go in between all his rib cage and then massage all that area out and then get him do, doing breathing exercises whilst I will get into these, so which is allowed to expand his rib cage and close the rib cage whilst I'm applying pressure. And then up in here, something's a bit crunchy there. Not this painful in, there. So in between the ribs, we've got something on there. But you're getting, in your head, point to where exactly you get the pain when you, when you do the issue. It's like somewhere here. It's like so it's underneath it, the rib. There, 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 like all across that section yeah. there, like this. Okay, area. yeah. It sucks, and it was literally all day yesterday. You know when you try and just constantly yeah. reposition yourself and it just won't go away, and it was like, at one point I was hunched over a little <laughs> bit. So what's going to be best, if Lex turns on his side, so you guys can see what's going on. So all is here is his rib cage there going around here. Yeah. So we can find his rib cage. So there's the bottom of his rib, okay? Yeah. Okay, it's not much more nice. It's yeah. We're coming in between. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> Bloody okay. hell. Okay, what we need to do is do a side crunch for me. Nice. Ugh. Go again. Oh, there. there got That's you. it. What's got that? You. Got you. Okay, relax. Oh, relax. I... Relax. What? Relax where? Your body, you're crunching in. Oh, uh, body up. There you go. Uh, so now we've located and pinpointed where it is. What is that? See how difficult that was to find when, it, when compared to doing it out there, it's impossible. So now. I'm just going to get into these muscles a little bit. This is going to be nice. Uh, this is what are we on now? So now flexor, flex your obliques for me. Yeah, good. So you see here, look. It's intercostals, all right? His serratus is here, look. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. And then his intercostals are here. These intercostal muscles coming around here. So he's got a... See there? It could be his... Serratus as well, which webs around. Can I get the bitch pad through my hips? Then my hips will be nice and even. Yeah, you can see now where it's gone all red here. So this is his issues up in here. Yeah. But we're gonna have to. This is not gonna be nice. You can see it all there. So this clunk of muscle here, that's his serratus anterior, which comes around the front yeah. like that. So we're getting to this one first, which can relieve issues down there. What? what? Oh yeah, that's really bad. Oh. We're showing you the muscles that attach <sighs> on the rib cage. <sighs> so we start to alleviate them, it probably it helped with the issue over here that's radiating. <laughs> this is not gonna be nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, freaking noodle dick. And then here, coming through. That's yeah, fine. there, right on that point yeah, of the rib, yeah. that's why. Yeah. So, so what? There's some crunching going on here. So what felt like dislocation, is it, or is it something different? That, you, but that's you feel like that, yeah? So it's something here. Something's it's moving. moving. Yeah. That, sh that shouldn't be moving like that, should it? I can feel no, that. That's really like a very small knot in here. Yeah, that's horrible. Oh, so as soon as it's got like a six that feels like you're, like you're pushing the rib like that. Yeah. Oh, that's really bad. Where are yeah. you now? I'm on the same spot. That is exactly it. Now it's radiating. It's going yeah. uh, like this all the way up here. Yeah, you see it's coming round. Okay, she's got a bit of an issue here. That's exactly it. So I'm going to move down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my mother. What is it? Open the body up again. That's it. Wow! There. Yeah. That was bad. It's all coming That's... through. That's it there. Mm. An assumption, he might have done a little bit of a strain here in his intercostal muscle. Because I am between the ribs. So the bones are here of the ribs. Yeah. Okay. As we go inside, it just twitch then. So he's got his rib here and his bone here. As we go inside the rib there, that there is where you get to see your oh, shit. So why's the bone sore? Because <laughs> you pressed the bone when you went bone, the bone sore. Yeah, because there's a muscle on top of it. So it, oh. Whilst we're here, we'll probably get into his rectus abdominis as well. Uh, I'm just getting into one of his abs here. That just feels... <laughs> there you go, all all that. So watch all this area here. That, why is it going kadunk? It's just a muscle, you'll see. <laughs> I'm applying this much pressure, so it, it, for me, it's probably not going to be a fracture. Okay. What about cartilage irritation? Uh, so say you've like overly flexed the rib cage, you've taken an impact, something like that. Can that yeah, because in theory, we have ligaments around here, okay? We can obviously 
overstretch a ligament which can cause it to be a sprain when it could be a tear like a muscle tear a sprain though will be like a, lig a ligament's being like overstretched and that's where dislocations can happen if something dislocates like if i pop my shoulder out of position all right and i pop it back in Shoulder's fine, but I might have completely overstretched all these ligaments now, which is going to cause the issue. And you've got to remember that these muscles here are delicate, and if you do injure them, they take quite a while to heal. <laughs> but you can see now where my fingers have been, this area here, right here is the issue, so go back into there. Look that little pop there, that's your issue there. Oh, that feels grim. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. And what I'm going to do is apply pressure for a long period of time. I'm just try and breathe when I'm doing this. Big breath in. Then breathe out. Remember, we're stretching and contracting the muscle. Kind of. But it still hurt. Oh, it's mm. of... Just there. It's, it, that's bad, but it was worse when you hear yeah. before. Now, big breath in. And out. <sighs> what I'm going to do, which we haven't done in a while, is put some cups here. Oh. In the most weirdest place ever, whilst he can breathe and move around. If we've taught you anything on this channel, it is that... The pain you're feeling is more than likely not the cause. No, hang on. What have we taught them? No, no, nothing. We've taught them nothing. I had a lesson. It's gone. What have we taught them? Body works in a crisscross. Jing Kajang. Where you feel the pain is not likely the actual area causing the pain. Usually. Fucking hell. Sorry, bro. Usually it's a causality of radial pain from something else. But if, if there's no dislocation and people are going and getting some chiropractic work and then feeling relief, why are they feeling that relief? From the joints being moved. Yeah. Because the muscles will relax around it. Go back to the same mechanisms, tighten back up. If they're weak as shit and you go back to your shit old lifestyle again, then yeah, we go back to square one and you go get adjusted again. It's like doing a 12-week tw shred with a PT, then after your 12-week shred, you go fucking back to eating, being a fat mess, and then you book in next year. As much. For next summer, for the 12 week shred, shred, I can't fucking speak, and you, and you have this vicious cycle, or you'd be live the lifestyle. You'd be better getting a 12 week shed. Just <laughs> <laughs> <His> laugh <life, yeah. laughs> All right, bro, this is gonna be interesting because we're gonna use the cup to lift his skin up and move it around. This is his issue here, so we're gonna apply the cup. Uh, there's nothing like treating a mythical no, 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 no. problem with another mythical solution. Oh, that sucks. That was so weird. <gasps> bro, let's go. Look at that, bro. <laughs> no, bro. It looks like a fucking asshole. Oh, what's it doing? What? Did you see that then? Why is it doing it's that? It's gone now, it's gone. What was that about? Bro, what was that? I've never seen that. It looks like it's probably, it's probably just fixed your issue, bro. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, go back that way, go back that way, go back that way. Oh, uh, look! Why, why is there an anus on my side? Uh, it hurts. That really hurts. That's right? disgusting, man. Uh, uh, but whilst that's set, I'm going to do something in a minute. Dude, no, get it off. Oh, that sucks. Hang on, no, leave it. I want it off, but leave it. It sucks. That really sucks. Okay, I'm gonna move it in a minute and let it settle though. Okay. Oh, this is some weird camera work. Uh. We're one here. Really? Yes. Dude, I feel like I can't move. Like I might yeah, tear. Fine. I feel like I might tear. Tight skin. Ready? Yeah. Well, oh, that was not so bad. These, yeah, suck these are tight. absolute ass. Oh, we're gonna do a lay body just to lie down. <laughs> What do you mean, lie down? If I lie down, no, it's going to pop no, off. Just let, let it happen. Try to relax, bro. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know. How, I can't move, mate. I'm locked in this position. I'm literally locked. I, I've got no movement. And my neck is cramping. Yeah, take my good hand. Right, ready? This is going to hurt. What are you uh, Dude, bro, bro, that's, that's going to rip my skin off. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Just relax. Ah, ah, it's just mythical pain. It's not even real. I'm going to take these two off a second. Oh, no, they're the two that weren't so bad. <laughs> I'm going to re-vacuum them. Oh. <sighs> Ready? Oh, that was... Ready? Mm. Oh, it's hurt so much. So what this is doing here, I'm moving the cup. It's like a vacuum. Just tear my skin off as well. I'm sucking it. We're moving layers. Oh, look, there you go. Oh, why is it doing the butthole thing? That's what I want to know. Ah, that sucks real bad. Real bad. Ah, oh, last little bit. Why is that so painful? Because we're moving it. It's like ripping up. It's like ripping off carpet off the, off the glued. It's glued to the floor. Ah, oh. oh, you're literally. Oh, fucking out with the fascia. Yeah, you ever watch me? Here is his muscle. Obviously, he's got his skin and the fat underneath. And we're lifting that skin up. And then, whilst we move the cup, 
we're like pulling up this skin. It's going to feel horrendous. But then obviously when we restore it back to normal, the tissues will feel a bit more mobile. And if you don't believe me, go get it done. Oh, dude. <laughs> I mean, if you've got cups, go do it to yourself yeah. right now. Ah. Mother whole watcher. It is one spot though. The rest of it's like yeah, managing. Yeah, yeah. It's that one bit feels like it's literally rip, ripping my skin off. Um, this this is mobilise this area, especially yeah. the skin. There, there. Okay, let it come off. Ah. Let me just uh, massage that, bro. Oh. Yeah. So this is a little bit more mobile now on this skin. Yeah, this is going to bruise a little bit. So if the skin now look, picks up a lot easier, which is a good sign. Do you know what would be interesting to see? If we've got to do that breathing test again where I lie down yes. and see, it's, listen to my voice and see if it's any yeah. clearer. I bet it's a similar thing. We can show them how you can deepen your voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll, do that, we'll do that after. Yeah. I want to see you crack your back though first, okay? Lie like this for me. On my chest? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So lie, lie completely flat. Okay. Okay, right, so let me explain something to you first. So you find his first rib and then you come in here. Yeah. Okay, and then obviously his T12 would be here and each nodule will be a vertebrae going up to his T1. And then here, you can crack, but it depends if he's tight. So here, big breath in and then out. <laughs> if your back is super tight, all this will crack, big breath in, out. One more, tense your stomach, and then be back. <laughs> there you go, correct. Okay? You only got one out of all that, though. Yeah. So that's a good sign. Well, we did the foam roll anyway. But normally, if uh, you're super tight in here and haven't done much mobility, if you've got something out on your back, all this will go, you're literally pushing up like this, which will crack this vertebrae there. If you had a dislocation, he would have fucking jumped off the bed. Okay? It's like getting his shoulder and doing this when it's already dislocated. Oh, I'm glad you were confident. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do one more, just one quick mobilisation, okay? What you're going to do is go like this for me. Like that, like yeah. And then what you'll do, you can pick them up, uh, okay? Uh, and you're going to twist them like this, but you need to, it will help mobilise the frastic here, okay? But they have to be up, and you twist them like this. This is a good, great test to do to see if there's any issues in their frastic. But as you can see, mobility here. It's pretty good. And then you can crack their back if you've got this for us. We've already cracked this season, it won't really crack, but you can grab them and then you'll pull them up here and that will get them to crack. And you're going to hug. And you're here. Yeah, see, nothing. So okay. we've done well. We have released yeah. all the back. So this isn't some daft tension thing. We Everything else is healthy. Yeah. So just, do you see how I picked him up and then brought him in, okay? And just to show you we're bullshitting it, his back won't crack. Yeah. If you do that to a small child, they'll probably die. <laughs> <laughs> so if we've learned anything today, it's don't kill your children by squish hugging them from the back and jolting them violently. Okay. Who so would have thought? We localise where the pain is, okay? We massage the intercostals, got the cup out and um, mobilised the skin. Which we saw okay. a lot of pain. That was like an... An eight or a nine. It felt like you were tearing the, I'm not exaggerating, it felt like you were tearing well, the skin. Well, let me get the camera on. <laughs> okay, do you see that there? Yeah? This is where his issue is there, all right? And it, to me, you can see, he says it's underneath, but he feels like it's gonna be intercostal and um, serratus and these obliques all coming into one with a massage. So we can test it now with the foam roller just to see what, if we've got any improvement of the ROM. What's on the foam roller? Yeah, that's so <laughs> Look at that though. That is definitely flexing in way more though through those two. Yeah. Do the other side. Flex as hard as you can. Well, there's way more definition. Oh, on right there. Look at that. Yeah. yeah that's oh, separation. Look at that. <laughs> Just going to pick it up. Oh, well, I can't do that on that side. Dude, look. Where's that going? Shit. What's wrong with my, what's wrong with my other side? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, when we come back on the Mace video, yeah. we can sort of catch up on that as well. Okay. Yeah. So we do. Uh, catch up on both injuries after you've done seven days of the mace. Seven days of the mace. And that might actually help that as well. Video. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Right. To the Brilliant. Test. <laughs> so obviously this is the only one where we saw a real restriction and you can actually hear it in my voice. So let's see if we've changed that one bad thing. Considering we haven't done any back release, 
No. We've done nothing other than the, trying to crack it, which you didn't need. All right, so we're on the same thing. I'm gonna lie over. And talking. Hey, I don't sound like Deirdre with Barry dead in the living room anymore. You don't look as stressed either. <laughs> yeah, so what has happened is we released up this part here, which allows his rib cage to bow a bit more. Because if it's, re if it's restricted, it pull him in. So, so because it's pulling me in, it was what, restricting diaphragm? Or what? Yeah. Why, it, why before? I was literally talking like that, wasn't Because it? this doesn't allow you to open, so you get overcompensation up here, okay? So well, this is pretty good, even though these are bruising quite bad. Work on your core and your intercostals and your obliques and that to open up the, the spine. Because as we addressed earlier, these muscles pull the rib cage down and expand it. So if they're tight, you can't do this. Yeah, so <laughs> rib subluxation, because that sounds cooler. Uh, nah, not in this case. It wasn't, although it felt hugely similar to when I literally cracked my rib prior. Had very similar issues, very similar pain, but nah, it was muscles that when put in a cup, looked like a butthole. If you've had any issues, what you've just said, drop them. See what you guys have. Your just, just drop them. Just drop your issues. No, I mean, drop, drop your issues. That's a comment. Mitchell Ram, 2024. <laughs> if you've got issues, <laughs> drop them. <laughs> just forget about it. It doesn't exist. <laughs> I do actually have abs. <laughs> this, right, MacGyver. This is Mitchell Ram DIY. Okay. <laughs> if someone out there can create this invention, you'll make loads of money on this. But I've just created it. Get a foam roller, snap your band in half with some scissors, and tie it to a bench. Okay, so it's going nowhere. This is going to be your burrow, all right? This will enable you to breathe better and open rib cage. And if you want to stretch and contract these muscles, you can do this a bit. Or you can call it the exorcist. Start with your upper, okay, and then allow it to open up fully like this. The gravity will pull you down so much more because you're higher up in here as well. Go lower as well and just open it all up. Okay? How long for? As long as you can survive. <laughs> okay? So you can hold this. So this one is the full, Exorcist. The full whammy exorcist. You can get to your lower back, see how mobile it is, and then you can up and over like this. <laughs> we see where now my hands are touched. Dude, you look like an accident victim from a horror movie. But that will open up, yeah. damn! <laughs> that will open up the spine, and you'll feel good to go, man. <laughs> okay? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh my god! Okay, this is called the bow. All this here oh. will open up, and then his rib cage here as he breathes in, big breath in, and his neck will stretch, his chest will stretch, all his intercostals, his serrates, it opens up the whole body, okay? This is really uncomfortable. Oh, I feel like I need to do it because it's so bad. Okay. Oh. If you do this in the morning, it'll wake you up. Oh my God, I can't take any more of that. Yeah? Yeah, that's, look, I'm so shaking. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. So this whole body opens up. That fired up my whole upper body. Was yeah. Oh, wow. It's called bioenergetics. Honestly, that, that's worth looking like a weirdo doing. <laughs> Try, give, honestly, give that a go and let us know what you think in the comments. Wow. And you can also then do your side, all right? which opens up all this here. Okay, you're just creating a bow pretty much, which can open it all up, okay? If you want to, you can just be a child, and just, <laughs> just have a tantrum and just chill, okay? <laughs> just go and have a soul. If you want to look cute, you can just... <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun finish here. <laughs> Ooh, I'm starting to be able to stick it back. The growth is underway. So a fun finisher, we promised you, we'll be able to make your voice deeper. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is us talking right now. So listen to my voice. Listen to my voice. And I'm going to show you how to make it deeper. deeper. Try this, let's know. Honestly, this is legit. Similar to the bow, okay, but you can do it stood up. But you have to make sure you get no lower back issues. If you've got disc issues, don't do this. You squeeze your glutes like this, okay? And then you're going to push your hips forward like this. All right? Watch what my body does here. Arms up over like the bow, and then you'll squeeze your bum, slightly bend your knees, what will happen is your body will start to vibrate. Then you're here, open your neck, open your mouth, breathe. And every breath you take, show up, your voice will become deeper. You're not doing that honestly, are you? No, this is literally. That's mad, you sound yeah. like Barry Don't White. Don't you want it, man, okay, Bend the knees. So watch, squeeze your ass first. Yeah. So squeeze the ass as and lock his core in. 
Then he's going to arms up over the head, allow yourself to fall back. Okay, keep your ass squeezed. Head right back. It's going to stretch the vocal cords. Everything's going to get stretched, even here. Keep there you go. shaking. Yeah, keep going. <sighs> Breathe. Five more. Open your mouth, you do it. Let it all out. There you go. And then stand up. And then we talk, oh my God, that's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Even his laugh. Wow. 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 So that wow. Was, you know, that, wow. Was cool. that is mental. You could hear it when, and he's still going. You would hear it when I was doing the breath. It was going, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you want to deepen your voice, start doing that as an exercise a couple of times a day. Free up those vocal cords and release your inner bro, bloke, Barry White, whatever you want to do. Okay. So now, the only way we can prove this is... Uh, to bedtime, to the morning, and let's see if we've fixed my month-long pain in the rib. Yeah, and see how these come up tonight. Oh, that's sore. Let's see how they look in a 12-hour in a period. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. All right, see you at bedtime. <laughs> so 10 to 12 hours later and on the phone cam you can see how heavily that problematic area had bruised in comparison to the others and you can also see how well that oblique is flexing now too but the deep bruising is very visible here especially from a distance in the mirror it was still pretty painful but what i can say is since this treatment i have had zero problems and you can see how well the muscle now contracts but more importantly relaxes so another job well done another worse pain fixed catch you in the next one Boom, baby.